As a leader, you may stop enemies from using an EMP bomb. But when the attack comes from nature, what will you do? How do you stop the sun from delivering a fatal electric blow? Closely related to the EMP is the danger of a natural kind of EMP we call a geomagnetic storm. This originates in the sun. The sun sends its solar wind. If it comes out in a very big burst, that disturbs the magnetic field of the Earth in a way that can also affect our critical infrastructure. The infrastructure doesn't care if it's being attacked by a nuclear EMP or by an EMP from a geomagnetic storm. The result is the same. The grid is the victim. They've hit the Earth before, and they will hit again. In 1859, British astronomer Richard Carrington recorded seeing two very dark, ominous spots grow on the sun's surface. Two days later, the New York Times reported sightings of brilliant auroras at the equator. Auroras are caused when electrons carried by solar winds are trapped in the Earth's magnetic field. Magnetism comes from deep inside of the Earth, where there are enormous electric currents flowing in the metal core. This creates a magnetic field that comes out near the north, wraps around, and comes back in to the south. If you watch an aurora, you're watching the electrons following the magnetic field lines down into the atmosphere of the Earth. When they come into the Earth's atmosphere, they bump into the nitrogen and the oxygen, and they knock electrons off, and that makes the color, it makes the light. Now, in 1859, people saw this happening near the equator. That means the magnetic field was completely disturbed. In modern days, a huge magnetic storm like that could cause a great deal of problems that didn't exist in the pre-electric days telegraphs went haywire, overflowing with electric current. Some of those telegraph systems and stations actually burned down. Scientists of the day had never seen anything like it and had no idea that events on the sun can directly impact Earth. Go ahead with the 75 amp test. John Kappenman has spent years conducting tests on the modern power grid simulating the EMP effect of a large geomagnetic storm. When I started working in this area, we never thought that geomagnetic storms would truly be large enough to actually damage large power transformers. Then came the storm of 1989. All of Quebec went dark. They went from normal operating conditions to complete province-wide blackout in 92 seconds. You know, so fast they couldn't even assess what was going on, let alone take any sort of meaningful human intervention. We not only experienced a blackout in a major portion of the North American power grid, but we damaged some uh, transformers as well. You know, something that uh, easily could be 10 times worse is uh, likely to occur uh, at some point in the future. I mean, they have occurred before, they will occur again. 